We're counting down. Here we are. You know, it's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a little bit of a while because I... I uh, bad luck comes in threes. For me, it came in the form of three broken ribs. Here and here and around into the back. Yeah. Back, get it? <laughs> and that's a hidden one. Back, get it? An Easter egg from Dice Clay. Yeah, I uh, well, Saturday will be two weeks coming up. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, uh, I uh, took a spill not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before, and uh, oh, yeah, I am. Um, tripped over a blanket. I was carrying a blanket into the living room. Um, like I do all the time when it's really, 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 really hot like it does get here because my air conditioner is in here. I will put a nice, big, huge, nice, comfortable air mattress and then bring a nice blanket in and pillows from my bed and that particular night I was carrying the blanket and it came down and I stepped on it and went straight down and I landed right here on the floor and huh, like most people do you get up oh shit I fell okay went to bed and woke up the next day and could hardly move and I immediately knew what I did because I've broken ribs before but just not up here and around and in the back because they go all the way around and that first day I hurt and I laid I always buy stuff ahead of time in case I have a bad day or the weather's crappy or something like that and well that Sunday was bad and then Monday I felt pretty good so I thought well okay did some running around and uh, lo and behold by uh, Wednesday I was in the ER I thought for sure I had a punctured lung or something I, I, I could barely breathe I woke up and I was just gasping for air. I, I thought I was dying. One thing I will say is, that, as much as I hate the ER, I ain't been there in a few years, luckily, knock on wood. Uh, complete different staff than I had seen in the past when I was there frequently. And I was in really, really fast because of the chest pain. And they did an EKG, of course. And that came out great. Which that, Hell yeah. That alone. And then they did, they didn't do an x ray, they did a, um, a CT, and it showed, but it showed. And um, they were really nice while I was in there. And, uh, you know, they gave me a really uh, little IV type uh, pain reliever. Nothing completely strong to knock you out, but. I think it was like tor Toradol or something like that. It, it was enough to just, I could move, you know, but when the, doc, the original doctor came before the EKG and was pushing, wherever where he pushed hurt, and then when he pushed on the back, that hurt really bad, which is weird because I fell on the front, well, front side. So it must have snapped enough all the way. Well, then that uh, thing came back and uh, he goes, you got three cracked ribs with slight uh, internal bleeding. And I'm like, internal bleeding? Right then, I thought he was admitting me, you know. And he's like, 
Well, just go home, take it easy, and well, that's what I've been trying to do anyway. My main thing is, is I wanted to confirm that the pain I was having was not just a broken rib, that it wasn't like a punctured lung or spleen even, because that's on that side. But it was up in this area, and uh, I had a collapsed lung over 10, just about 10 years ago, exactly, and for two days, I, and I didn't have a broken rib. And I thought that, uh, that I had like a pulled muscle, and I'm laying around, and finally I couldn't take it no more. I'm like, I couldn't even drive, I could barely move. Son of a bitch! Yeah. Piece of crap. And we are back because this piece of crap fell. Let's try it this way. Damn it, I'm sorry. What's the right way? Here's the right way. Let's go from here like that. Things should not have slid like that. I'm gonna have to set something up different next time. Well, we have <laughs> a pause, uh, you know, technical malfunctions, but we're not gonna start over. We can do this. One second. And grab something try to fix it a little more because the guy was explaining a lot right there got through most of it and then that happened ding it Let me put that there eh, that thing sucks well we'll put it right like this this ain't that bad you can see me and as you can see, I'm wearing a black and pink Death Leopard t-shirt. My mom bought it for me. And also... <sighs> new cross with a diamond. I got this thing. You will not believe the price. I don't mean to get off track with the Long bull crap, but huge sale at Kohl's, and uh, it was already on sale for like fifty or thirty-nine, and then I had Kohl's cash and a coupon. I ended up with a hundred-dollar cross and necklace for thirteen ninety-nine. Yeah, that's how you get deals. Okay, anyway, so I had the collapse lung 10 years ago. And I knew what that bad that was. And that's what sort of started leading to this whole downward spiral. I was able to work after that, though. It wasn't until I broke this leg and had to have metal put in it. Oh, I broke it in 16. And then after that, everything spiraled down with the, all the crap we've, so you, you know we've talked about the crap. Okay, so anyways, in our hospital, I didn't ask, you know, of course they didn't offer, and I didn't ask for any, you know, narcotics. I, I, I take my own medicine at home for what I'm supposed to, and it helps. It just depends on the weather, too, I mean. But I will say that the increase of my Cymbalta for my fibromyalgia has really, really helped. I wish I had done that years ago. And not by much, just by 30 milligrams. I'm not on the highest by all. And, um... But this is taking a little longer than what I'm used to. I've broken ribs before... But just like one, like, really low. And as long as you don't cough and, and move weird and lift weird, 
it'll heal fast, but, you know, I got three of them pushing against, you know, tissue, and then you have that lining between the ribs and the lungs, and a lot involved, so I have to, like, lay flat on my back with a wedge-type cushion with my pillow, and, um, wish I'd have known that from the start, because I would have never ended up in the ER. After I started doing that, I slept a lot better. Wake up with pain, but it takes less time to, you know, stuff to get moving. Because it seems like when I sleep, stuff kind of stiffens up, muscles and crap, and it takes a while, it's like starting over again, but you get better faster. So, uh, let me move this closer. Yeah, it, certain days it, it, it'll hurt more, but when, when I take my normal medicines and boom, they kick in within an hour, I'm more, you know, uh, back to, well, for me, good, but other people, they'd be, uh, they'd be crying and dying, but um, I'm, I'm really gotten used to a lot of pain in different areas. Other than that, not much. Uh, plants growing outside, flowers, whatnot. My son, my one sunflower is like huge and tall and ready to pop a flower out and it, it, it's still green, but... <sighs> oh, and you know, I'm wearing a red Cardinals hat. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a Cardinals fan. I do like the red hat, though. I got this New Era St. Louis Cardinals hat. Um, it was brand new, never worn. Still had the stickers and tags and all, and I got it at Goodwill for um, $4, and I couldn't pass it up. I like baseball hats, and, you know, I'm not hiding the hair, you know, it's still there. Some people like to wear the hats and, you know, hide the, the halo. Well, no halo here. The only thing is, is I'm getting a little shaggy here because I haven't been able to trim it because I, I use, like, this arm and stuff to do that. And um, with this, it, it, it would hurt really bad, so who cares? But as far as all you haughty chicks out there, don't worry, you're... Uh, your boy Lair still got his hair. Yeah. It's not turning gray here, but who cares? I think if I was all gray, I'd be uh, gray with long hair and all that. I'd probably get more respect. Don't seem to get a lot of that. People are just kind of uh, a, little, a little rude sometimes and underestimate me. The, uh, down talk to me a lot and I just eat it and smile so yeah you keep thinking you keep thinking you're cool shit and I know I know who's the boss but that's about it for now I haven't done much guitar wise even before breaking these ribs uh, just cuz I, I had no motivation I still don't have a lot of motivation and here's one new thing I'm doing and it works and it did work today and it, it's not being pessimistic you know no uh, you know Debbie down or Ooh, everything sucks no in reality sometimes everything does suck and if you accept it in certain ways and you know what to expect the next day most likely say you wake up and you always feel crappy and, and this and that and the weather sucks and all that if you have high expectations and look forward to something and this and that and and it don't happen for whatever reason the weather the rain the this the that the too hot you're really in pain if 
you are realistic and think, okay, well, it's kind of a 60-40 that tomorrow's going to suck. So I'm not going to get my hopes up to do anything. I'm going to just plan on being in pain. And when that doesn't happen, it's automatically a good day. And then you're not having anxiety or you're, you're even better if you think every day is going to be a good day you're wrong because even if it's not you having a bad day as soon as you turn the tv on there is depressing news and that will get in your head and anxiety depression whatnot so i got used to having these days to where I made plans to get groceries and pay bills and this and that and felt horrible. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do this no more. If I feel completely horrible, I'm going to take care of myself and, and just that it is what it is. I'm not going to get all anxious and mad and depressed and so on those good days to and far between sometimes I will really stock up on stuff then there's no worries mentally saying oh I need this I need this I need this and I don't feel good enough to go to the store um so like today yesterday I felt horrible I didn't go anywhere and today I felt bad when I woke up but not as and I, and I took my medicines, and um, within an hour, I was feeling good. And, well, for me, there's a difference. There's good, and then Larry good. Larry good is a lot of other people's bad. Like, okay, so that's a different story. But, okay, so today worked out. I, I went and I paid three bills ahead of time because I like to pay bills ahead of time if I can in case I don't wait till they're absolutely completely due because if something happens and I can't get them anywhere out or this or that I don't want nothing late or so I um, certain bills I mail at least a week ahead of time more than that though that way I know for sure it gets there no late fee no this no that done with that in mind, you know, and um, as far as falling the other day and all the other crap, you know, like I said, falls are not my friend. Like, it's how this big metal thing is in the left leg. And, but I will try one thing, and this is the Larry on the Glory, and let's see something real quick. It's not going to be a whole song anymore. Ready? enemy no one's kicking me and making me fall down I just do it's like a mini 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 ghost trips me pushes me hides stuff <laughs> it's all right all right it wouldn't be a show without a show without me popping off some shoes and I don't know how how good I Get them up there. There you go. Yeah. They're like, uh, they're like, uh, Converse. You know, the Converse, uh, chucks, but they're not. 
their um, Echo Unlimited, and they, you know, they feel just like chucks. But what I did was I put copper fit insole, you know, copper fit insoles in them. Because regular chucks I can't wear. They're just too flat and not comfortable like hey dudes or vans. So I, I, I got these and um, I got them at a really, 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 really good price. And um, I put the copper fits in and they are really, really comfortable and you know, the flames. Look at my flames. Anyways, this is your bro, Larry. I'm just signing off right now, you know, I just had to touch base and, uh, I don't know, I'm still in pain, you know, I got, man, this whole apartment smells like Ben Gay. You walk in here, it sounds, it smells like there's an old, old folks home, you know, well, not some, some have like a stank, you know, like the, the diapers or something, no, this just smells like like the cologne won't even cover it the bengay right right here around and in the back and sometimes i i sweat and i forget and i go like this and to wipe my face and boom luckily i haven't gotten it in my eyes but immediately i have to wash my face but you can feel it on there but hey yo you know that that's it for now and uh I'm the bad guy, yeah, you, yeah, I'm the bad guy. But anyways, that was me just, you know, telling you what's up, nothing important. Watch if you will. Down the road here, when I start feeling better, I, I get outside, do some stuff in my car, it's filthy. But the weather ain't cooperated either. A couple days ago, it was beautiful weather, would have been great. Great weather to wash and buff my car. I got a buffer. I want to hit it with some good uh, actual black wax. Nah, broke the ribs. Had like three days of like low 70s and could have got some, you know, got some stuff done. But it is what it is. Cars are commodities. Bought sold. They'll disappoint you in the beginning, you know, eventually. You gotta just take care of them. Treat them good, they'll treat you good back. Just don't buy shit junk cars. Alright, that's it. Alright, bye. Have a good one.